In this video, I'll be solving problem 819 from Taylor's Classical Mechanics. The height of a satellite at perigee is 300 kilometers above the Earth's surface, and it is 3,000 kilometers at apogee. Find the orbit's eccentricity. If we take the orbit to define the xy plane and the major axis in the x direction with the Earth at the origin, as in my drawing, what is the satellite's height when it crosses the y axis? This is the vector that I've labeled c. First, remember that we have to add the radius of the Earth to the height to find the actual minimum and maximum radii. So the minimum radius is 300 kilometers plus the radius of the Earth, which is 6.4 times 10 to the sixth meters, for a total of 6.7 times 10 to the sixth meters for the minimum radius. Uh, the maximum radius is 3,000 kilometers plus the radius of the Earth, which is 9.4 times 10 to the sixth meters. With those numbers out of the way, we can use equation 8.50, which relates the constant c, the minimum and maximum radii, and the eccentricity of the elliptical orbit, like so. R min equals c over 1 plus e, not e, epsilon, sorry, and r max equals c over 1 minus epsilon. We can rearrange these two equations to solve for the eccentricity of the ellipse, like so. r min over r max equals c over 1 plus e times the inverse of r max, 1 minus epsilon over c. I'm sorry, I keep saying e instead of epsilon. The c's cancel, and r min over r max is 1 minus epsilon over 1 plus epsilon. We can go ahead and solve for r min over r max right now. It's equal to 0 0.713, the ratio of the radii. This expression can be algebraically rearranged to give epsilon equals negative r min over r max minus 1, which is the same as 1 minus r min over r max. doesn't really matter over r min over r max plus 1. Plugging that into the calculator again, we get an eccentricity of 0 0.168. The second half of the question asks us to find the satellite's height when it crosses the y-axis. So conveniently, the constant c that we canceled out earlier in the equation 8.50 is actually the same length as the part of the orbit that we're asked to find. So we can once again rearrange equation 8.50 to solve for c. Now we have c equals r min times 1 plus the eccentricity. That's going to be 6.7 times 10 to the 6th meters times 1 plus 0 0.168 for a final distance of 7.8. 2, 6 times 10 to the 6th meters. Now the problem asks for height, so once again, we should subtract the radius of the Earth, which is 6.4 times 10 to the 6th meters, and our final result is 1,426 kilometers.